So God gave mankind the sun, and man worshipped the sun. Then God gave mankind the moon, man worshipped the moon. God has given mankind many things throughout history, and we end up worshipping them. And we build statues and idols and everything. And mankind worships those things. And then we hoard and collect and become these consumers that just can't stop consuming things around us. And we become materialistic. And we seem to worship everything that God gives us, but not Him. Or at least that applies to some of us. When Jesus returns again, are we looking to the Enoch calendar? Are we looking to the Gregorian calendar? Are we looking to some kind of a mix match between the two calendars? Maybe the Enoch sun calendar or the Enoch moon calendar. Or are we going to just, just shut up and take heed as to what God said when the year starts? And he gave us a specific time when the year should start. And it's got to do with Abib and it's got to do with the sheep. And I'm going to show it to you here. But he expects us at the end of every year to wait for the, those two signs to line up before we start the year. And do you think mankind can wait for him to say, right, guys, go for it? No. We go ahead and just do our own thing. Okay? And Dr. Barry goes into, and into these in detail. And I fully agree with them. We should only start counting when God says start counting. That's it. We are looking for the new moon in the Lamb. Sorry, the sun is so bright. There's your new moon in the Lamb. And the star Abib on the horizon, all three at once. That'll be April 12th of 2021 was the beginning of this year, not March. This is what they had. This was March 14th, 2021. No Abib. And look at the star of the show is way up here. The sun will never even reach the lamb throughout the whole moon. Now, when we on our calendar count forward to the true Rosh Hashanah, the woman would be clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. Rosh Hashanah, head of the year on October 7th. Down there, 2021. If, God forbid, this time passes and we're looking towards Feast of Trumpets, I know there's going to be a bunch of videos about September Feast of Trumpets, and it's wrong. Look, this is what their September Feast of Trumpets is September 8th, 2021. The sun is in Leo, and the moon's in Virgo. 100% not. Rosh Hashanah. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that. And um, just want to encourage you, keep looking up. This world is just going crazy, absolutely crazy. But God knows how to look after you. Remember, you're his child, and you're the apple of his eye. So hold on to that. Uh, he's the perfect dad. And um, soon we're going to be sitting at the marriage supper of the Lamb. And we're going to be family all together. And I'll be sitting next to you and you next to me and us next to the people that we've ever wanted to see. Gee, how's that? It's, all, it's almost like rhymes. But yeah, so I look forward to that day. Remember, our hope lies in God. Our hope lies in Jesus. And he blesses us with all kinds of things whilst we're on this earth. But let's not worship the things, let's hold them very lightly and remember that our ultimate hope and our ultimate rest is in Jesus Christ. 
So I'll see you in the clouds. Keep looking up.